I am back with another video. Welcome. And this time it is another oh hoo hoo video. They reached out and wanted to send me some more pens to try out. Yeah, I've been using the other ones so much, so I just am really excited to try out these ones. And something really nice about this one is they asked if I wanted to do a giveaway for my followers. So this is a giveaway video. So stay to the end of the video to find out more about what's being given away. Also, you might be able to hear the ducks in the background. So I'll just open this up. Here we go. It looks similar to the other one. It also comes with a little handle and a big handle, same as the other one. Here we go. Yeah, so it's got the protection, the page protection, which is really handy. Colour swatches, more pages this time, it looks like there's four. And then just a bit about the pens. So yeah, this is the 200 set in this series that I don't know how to say and I'm not going to attempt it. So I believe these ones are the chisel tip and fine tip, which means, let's just grab a random one. Oh, it's got a different design on it. That's actually really nice because it means that if you somehow mix them up with your other pens, you can tell a different pen. This one's got a chisel nib and a fine nib. So this one is the chisel nib and then this one is the brush nib. This one's just more flexible and this one is just more sturdier and smaller. That means it's time to swatch them. It is. It can be a pain actually swatching them but it is so worth it in the end because it's just nice to have a visual sheet of what the colours look like because sometimes the colours on the pens do look slightly different to the actual ink itself. Right, so that's all the swatching done. So now I just need to make a mess. Okay, so that's what I've got at the moment. Um, I did actually bring the other set that I reviewed in one of my earlier videos. I'm sorry about the ducks, they are being loud. I also realised while I was swatching them that they are a different shape to the brush nibbed ones, which I think is helpful in making sure you know which one is which. So this is the one of the brush nib ones, like I showed earlier, and this is a chisel nib and you can see that the chisel nib is more of an oval. It doesn't roll away as much as this one would. I don't know, I thought that was worth mentioning. Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to be working on my sketchbook again, and I was going to try fill a spread. Yeah, I would like to try and fill an entire spread because a couple of you have been asking to see that because in my last Ohuhu video, I only filled one page. That's the goal, but whether or not that happens, I guess we'll see. I've I'm still in a bit of a cowboy phase and a while ago, a while ago I tried making my own cowboy character. This is all I've drawn of him, but I thought today maybe I could try design him a bit more maybe. I, I might draw some other stuff as well, but for the most part that is what I want to get done today. Because this is the only image I have of him though, I'm gonna need to draw a quick doodle of him so that I actually remember what he looks like. It doesn't work. Oh, you can barely see that. I've gotten a few Pinterest references just to give me some more inspiration. Right, so I've got my reference, which I'm just gonna have off to the side. 
To start it off, I think I'm just going to draw what I already have of him, just to get my hand moving. So I don't know how obvious it is from my posts and whatnot. I can't remember if I even mentioned this in the previous video. I always like to start my drawings from the, usually somewhere along the bottom of the page, and it's usually the bottom left corner. I'm, I'm not really sure why, I just find it makes it easier to start drawing. So that nose is too young looking, and also just not really the shape I want it to have. I don't want him to look too young, I want him to look almost like a gentleman, an older-ish gentleman. I mean, I suppose if he does turn out quite young, that's not a huge problem. Ew. But I definitely, I love him with a moustache. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. And I kind of want him to have long-ish hair. I want his moustache to look better than it does. And I do quite like how big hats just look in general. I've kind of lost his eyebrows a little bit, so I might bring them down just so that it's obvious they're there. And then he needs pupils. If I bring the lower lid down, I think it looks more relaxed and less startled. Oh. No, that didn't actually work. Oh well, that's a problem for future me. Oh, he's looking kind of nasty. If, if I do that... <laughs> Jesus. Uh... He's got like a neck tie. So he's looking quite young right now. I've also not got this to look how I want it. Why does he look so young? Is it his ears? How about we change this a little bit? I'm just gonna quickly throw some color on this one, get an idea of his color scheme, because I haven't figured that out yet. So I'm gonna give it a light rubbing out, because otherwise the green will probably affect the colors. Right, let's try the chisel nib, I suppose, then. Now I'm just gonna give him some blush. I don't know how it's gonna work with the chisel nib, if it's going to blend nicer. Oh, it definitely looks weird, doesn't it? I would say it feels like these are definitely for finer details. I kind of want him to have fancy colours, as in like he is wealthy. Oh, this green would look great. I could use this for his earring. And I'm wondering if I should warm it up a bit, if I should use this. It's giving me vibes and I don't know what. 
So yeah, I'll use this for the stripe that the stitches are on. I think I want his hat to be lighter than the color I just put on. So it needed two coats. Maybe that was the wrong idea. Oh well. So then as a line colour, I was thinking of either using like a purple or a blue. Or maybe even this red. So the eyes are very odd. Mm. I've ruined his mouth. <laughs> Not that it was great to begin with, but you know. I for some reason can't draw um moustache today. But he just looks so creepy. Oh my gosh, he's so creepy. <laughs> These eyes are so not in line with each other. I am really enjoying this pen for lining though. I think that's, that was a good call. That is a mess, <laughs> that's okay. Just some texture maybe, because it is looking very flat, because I didn't bother adding any shadows. I think with the red, this green, I don't know what it is, but it, it feels like it's tied in a bit better. I love adding some texture to the cheeks. Something I've been seeing a lot of while looking for cowboy references, and I've been seeing a fair a bit of art, um, like on Twitter, of Orville Peck. I hadn't heard of him before. Um, I th he's a singer. Um, I really love his looks. His style just looks so cool. He's got what looks like a, um, a fly protector, a fly mask. I don't remember what it's called. You see them a lot on horses. I have never seen it on a person before. I really like how it looks. I have to admit, I don't think I'm the biggest fan of his music. You know, he looks really cool, so I still want to draw him because I really love tassels. Anyway, that's just a rough. arm comes here yeah so this guideline I've done is, is a bit wrong so I'll probably just be ignoring it but it does still help I think perhaps these proportions are off I don't think I've gotten slanted enough. So then this part is all in shadow, and then this becomes the tassels. That's a rough idea. far too long let's just leave it a simple hand yeah so I'm just gonna go over it all I'm not gonna be neat about it right now because I can go in with the darker colors later to finesse it Go in and add um, a bit more depth with a slightly darker yellow. Yeah, 
use a little bit of this for the tips of the fingers. For, he's got a brown belt buckle. So I'm just going to use the same colour I used down here, which was R341. The rest of his outfit is pretty... Did I use the wrong colour? I did! I was supposed to use E191. I've used his hair colour as his skin colour. Oh no. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. He uses... He's got like blacks, but I kind of want to try perhaps a blue-ish. I'm going to do his shirt, MG109. Should I use this as the shadow? Maybe. So now I want everything else to be like the same dark. The MG170. I suppose it doesn't need to look exactly the same. Because this is looking kind of funky, I think I just want to try and imply that it's shadow more than anything, um, which needs to come down here as well, because this is looking very, very funky. I think I need to add some darker parts to the gold, just go in and darken some parts up. I need to add maybe a little bit of blue to make it look like it's actually like foiled. And then on these parts up here to give more shading and especially up here. I'm not feeling that one so much. If I outline his hand. Fix it at all. Um, I can see that this pose looks really wrong and I don't really know how to fix it. Maybe if I give more to the back leg. Um, and I've decided that this needs more colour and more something. I wish I could go over this and give it some brighter colours, but I think it might be too late. So it needs to come from like here, kind of deal, and then like follow through. This is the wrong shape if I do that. So I'm just going to have a random bright colour. Can it layer on top? Not really. So I'm just going to add it anyway. Even though... Well actually, oh, that is impressive. You can see it. Let's just do whatever then. Seeing as I don't like it anyway, we might as well just... I want to add some hair as well. And his hand bit messed up too. That's really impressive because now like I much prefer that already although I do need to stop now because I can still do too much and do it wrong. Okay stop no more. I want to try drawing clay again. I want to do something that shows off tassels so I've got two reference pictures that have tassels on them. I think I want him slightly hunched over so that you can get like the frame of the tassels so if I have him here with like his arms outstretched or something and he's like looking like this so then you've got the hat doing whatever the hat's gonna do it goes like this um, it should create a sort of effect because his head is tilting so then his head's gonna be here Thank you. 
But then the reference I'm using has got, got like tassels that go like over the shoulder and down the top as well. Um, and then also down the arm. And I love that because that's just so many tassels. Because I could then even have a hand here. Oh, because I kind of just really love having cigarettes. I don't encourage smoking. Um, I do love adding it to photos just because I love the aesthetic look of the smoke. Also, I think it might work to frame this one here. So his nose will go here. And his eyebrows. I think that face is a bit too thin. I kind of want it more thick. If I gave him a really long dangly earring, I could just have it peeking out here, like something really fancy, like. Oh, I love that, yes. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. Also, I so want to give him some sort of necklace, but I don't think I should. No, I won't. His collar will be covering a bit here, so it wouldn't look great. So that would be his shoulder um, here. And then this is his tassel zone. Yeah, so they would be like crisscrossing over each other and creating interesting shapes, I think. Some tassels, which could also cross over slightly, like if they're getting caught on each other. They are really difficult to draw, and I usually end up making them look like some kind of pirate hat, which I don't want. There's nothing wrong with pirates, but this is meant to be a cowboy. And then there would just be some in the background, which will be easier to add later. That is a big hand. I always have a problem of drawing my hands too big, which is fine sometimes, but you don't want to fall into the trap. Let's do yaoi. Oh, this yaoi battle here. <laughs> Very unrealistic smoke, but that's okay. I do kind of like when it looks like it's almost like cloud texture. Oh, and then stars. Should I do a moon? Let's just pretend I didn't do that. Okay, yes, I like that. Um, and then we can start colouring. I think I kind of want it to have like a powdery blue and purple look. I want the tassels to be white. So it won't be pure white, it will be, I'll try warm gray. To try and tie it in a bit, I want to have some like white accents on the top. Maybe some like cute designs. And then maybe just some like dots. I don't know, maybe? I found this nice purple. Yeah, this one here. And I was thinking of making it like the hat and this part of his shirt. But this part would probably be like a baby blue and then this part would probably be like a darker blue. 
I accidentally did his hair. He shouldn't have been able to see that piece of hair, so hoping it would disappear. might also work for the background tassels as well just to keep it all sort of cohesive it might look strange uh, so yeah I kind of want to go over or under these bits slightly just to imply shading. I'm just trying to add depth, but I also just want there to be texture. I'm actually almost tempted to put some of that pink in. That might look quite nice. Do I do what I did for that one on this one? I could... Yeah, maybe I'm going to and maybe I'll regret it, but I'm in one of those moods. I just want to do it and see what happens. Should I have done this? <laughs> um, no, it's too late now. Okay, well, anyway, I did it. It's part of it. We're leaving it. It's not like we can take it off. I just wanted it to look more bold. I'm going to use what I used for the shading on him as the background to make everything else stand out a bit. I am actually pretty annoyed <laughs> that I added this pink. I really wish I hadn't now. Um, oops. I'm gonna add the line art and see if that changes anything, if I like it at all. So I've had a couple people in the past ask me how I choose my color palettes for drawings and I never really have a proper way of choosing it and I kind of want this video to show that I never know what I'm doing. I more often than not just wing it, which means that things don't always turn out how I like. I, I never know what I'm doing and then I usually make mistakes like this and try and learn from them I guess. You'd think I'd have learnt by now, but I haven't. I even knew as I was doing it, I shouldn't be doing it. And I did it anyway. Because this isn't the pastel picture that I had planned. It's kind of gone crazy, so I'm just trying to embrace it a little bit now. Oh, I need to stop. Um, there are things about this that I like, and I'm hoping that the line art will bring it back to a stage that I liked. darken his shadows a little bit so you know what because I'm so annoyed with it I think I'm just gonna do a different color background and see what that does because like I just want to try it I'll do a little bit here does that look better a little bit does it work do 
I prefer it. Maybe it just needs to be bolder so that everything stands out better. I do really struggle with art sometimes and I think this video right here is a really good way to show. I'm just like constantly trying to whittle it down until I have something I like and constantly making changes. And since I've gotten the Ohuhu markers, like with the last set, I've just been experimenting a lot. So I've been going through a lot of, oh, I really like that. And oh, I really hate that. I think I'm really liking the way my art is going, but it does mean because I'm experimenting and trying out like actually using colors for once and it can be really like crushing to get so many points that I'm like I really hate it you know which is why I was upset because I really liked how the sketch started but I think this color is bringing it back for me I think I needed to have a standout color as the background I always gravitate towards the paler colors and I think that's why then adding this bright pink really threw everything off because what I had so far wasn't made for that. That was a bit of a tangent. Basically, I'm preferring how this is looking. It just needed a darker background, honestly. I do much prefer it. It's still not amazing. I might mess it up by doing this, but I almost want to go in with a darker line art. Okay, so it turns out I didn't turn my camera on. Basically, it's the next day. I decided to turn all the tassels the neon pink because even though I don't hate the piece as much as I did yesterday, I'm still not in love with it. So I just kind of went for it and yeah, I, it is weird, but I do think I prefer it because I think the actual tassels, the lightness of them was throwing me off. And I was just saying before I realized the camera wasn't on uh, that I wanted to perhaps darken the facial features just a little bit so that they stand out more. I think it's probably the best it's going to look but I think right now I just need to move on to something else <laughs> I've saved a picture of Arthur from Red Dead Redemption 2 and he's got like <laughs> these really nice tassels on this vest maybe I'll take a break from drawing clay and just draw Arthur so he just stood here So it will just kind of sort of add it in so that it makes sense a bit. And then he's got his tassels, the whole reason I'm drawing this one. I think that will be fine. if it even shows up. So I do want to add the shadow on this one um, from the hat. might even use it for the hair. Okay, I much prefer that now that I've added the line art. I do think it looks almost more like John than it does Arthur. Like if you just pretend that there's scars all over his face, I think it looks more like John. And which is funny because I really struggle to draw John as well. Have no idea what to draw next. So I want him to have the tassel trousers. How can I include it? I suppose if I have him with like his leg up or something, 
if I draw him here, and then with his head here, uh, well actually if he was leaning more, and then like he had his arm out and his leg up, and then he can be showing off both sets of tassels, <laughs> no that <laughs> might look like an absolute mess, yeah, but you could at least see his like fancy cowboy boot this way at least. <laughs> he kind of looks like he's posing like the thinker. <laughs> might work. I'll, I'll try that one. I haven't got anything else at the moment, so I might as well. His ear there, so his chin will come down. He'd have his um, giant leather protectors, and then he'll have his legs, and then his boots, his beautiful cowboy boots that I haven't designed and I actually want to have a spur. What are those beetles? Ugh. I don't think I was record- oh that's the horse. I wasn't recording again. I don't know how to tell you what my thought process was. It's the horse. So you last saw me drawing the basic pose, I think, and I've just been adding details and basically saying how I kind of want him to have a sort of celestial vibe to his costume, you know, like with the stars and the moon and the whatever. I think his upper body is too small, so I could just bring everything down a little bit. Yeah, so this is, this part here is supposed to be the leather guard on his legs. Um, so it's going to be like held up by something. I think his shoes should start somewhere like this. Okay, now I can see what I'm doing wrong. So this part needs to come out further. And then his hand will be here. I want his belt to come down so he can stick his thumb in the rings, have some of his normal leg showing, and then the beginning of his shoes. I've just spent the last couple of days removing footage from my phone and onto my tablet. It's been so tedious. Something like this, because he's got tassels going all down his arm. I'm probably just going to stick to the same colour scheme. I might have the cuffs also be the same colour as the tassels, just because I think it will look nice. I suppose that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> And then I want the boots to be the same as the tassels. So it was one grey, one fifty, was it? And then just imply that there are tassels. I might just use this as the dark colour on the boots as well. I suppose I might need to use this for the earrings just because if it's too dark down here and it looks like two separate pieces, I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna use the purple for the spur. Right now he doesn't actually have a pupil. So I'm just going to line it with this purple pen. It's Faber-Castell.
add some shading. If I also use the blue as a mid-tone, does that help? A little bit. I'm going to add the background because I really, really want to. I actually really like how this one looks right now and I'm thinking if I had just done this bright pink background on that previous one, I wouldn't have ruined it. I think it would have gotten the effect that I was wanting. And I do just want to give him some blush. Oh, I don't think I don't think I gave Arthur any blush, so I should do that. I've got this space here left to fill. I could do another clay. So like if that's his line. But then I don't know what he's doing up here. He could like be leaning. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but something like that could be fun. We can make it fit. All the way around. I'm not too keen on his face up here. I might change that a little bit. Still goofy, but much better, I think. And then like have that covered with his collar. I think it's kind of fun. It's strange. I might try lining this one in blue just to keep it a bit different from the other one. At this point I usually go back in and like add little details just to make things pop a little bit and at the moment this page does kind of look a bit uh, all over the place and then you've got these like horrible blank white spots. I'm thinking I might use the neon pink as like the colour that ties everything in. Finally, I just want to go in and add the white highlights. I'm just using a cheap nail brush. Yeah, so that was the spread. I managed to fill it. It did take a couple days, but that is actually how long it usually takes for me anyway. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with how we ended with clay. Um, I still am a bit upset with how this one turned out, but I don't hate it so much anymore. These pens are really nice. They work the same as um, the other Ohuhu markers, which is really nice and also makes sense. It's by the same company. I do really like the fine nib. I think it works perfectly for doing the line art. Yeah, so I'll leave a link in the description to this 200 marker set. So for the giveaway, Ohuhu has kindly allowed me to do for you guys. What's being given away is a set of 48 pastel pens. It comes with 48 pens and one free blender. It is the brush nib and the chisel nib. I'll leave the information on how to enter below. One of you will be chosen by random by me. It's available for anyone anywhere. It's open globally. From the day this video is posted, it will last for seven days and then I'll announce the winner. And I'll put the specific date below that I'll be announcing the winner. If you're interested, check out how to do it below. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. So I wanna thank you guys for watching and a huge thank you to Ohuhu for allowing me to try out more of their pens. And even bigger thank you for letting me host this giveaway for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video and good luck to whoever wins the pens. I'll see you in the next video.